it's been about five months it's August now the last video I made was March 9th and a lot of things have happened since then um, number one Adriana and I were still very 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 close best friends it just didn't work out as far as us living together she's just a really hard worker she works all the time so when we were living together it was just very hard for us to both have a co cohesive schedule and um, be able to actually eat the same and, and work out and all that. It was just very, very hard because she would have to wake up super early and then we'd have to work out and then she'd have to go to work and work out and then I was working out by myself and so it wasn't as fun as we originally thought it was going to be. But when is working out ever fun? Anyway. <laughs> I decided that I was going to end up having back surgery and so I ended my lease in June and then moved back home to Porterville with my lovely 18 year old self on the wall. Um, I packed up and, and moved everything back to my house and I've been here and I've been going back and forth pretty much all summer and uh, I've done some fun things and I've I've kept up with some working out and, and my dieting. I wake up in the morning and we get, there's a pool about 10 miles from here. I go swim that 30 minutes to an hour and then I come home and I get ready and then I go over to my friend Sarah's house and she lives right next to the park that we walked around a couple years ago and so we just walk from her house around the park. It's two miles, it takes us about an hour, we're slow. I've been really consistent with the walking. We do that almost every single night when I'm here. So for instance, if I have class Monday, Tuesday, I come back Wednesday, I'll walk Wednesday night, Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday night, and then swimming, if I'm consistent with it that particular week, say I have class Monday, Tuesday, um, I'll leave here in the morning after I swim, so I'll swim in the morning for about 30 minutes to an hour, depending on what time I actually get there, and then I get ready and I go, so I swim Monday, I skip Tuesday, skip Wednesday, then I swim Thursday, Friday, Saturday. They don't, they're not open on Sundays. And so then it's like every other week is like that. I'm having a lumbar fusion, um, L4, L5. I'm fusing those two together. Kind of want to go through like me prepping for that surgery, then having the surgery, and then kind of the recovery and how long it actually takes me to recover. And so I can remember not just you know, for everyone, but for myself, like in the future, like, oh, on this day, you know, I was still in a lot of pain. So if I have to, unfortunately, have another um, fusion or even like they have these new disc replacements, but they have to go to the front and I'm not a fan of that just yet. So I'll just know next time how I was on certain days through recovery. So that's the plan. Um, so in March, like right after I did my last video, I got two shots in my back on either side of my spine. Um, they were like steroid injections or whatever to help me with the pain. That lasted for three weeks. Ooh, I went to Disneyland with my boyfriend and that lasted through that. So that was nice. Um, but pretty much after I came back from that and everything, my back went back to being crappy. And painful and all that. I went to see my doctor that did my microdiscectomy and he prescribed another set of shots before I had my surgery. It's Monday, August 10th. So August 10th I go in for two shots on either side and then that'll last me up probably through up until I get surgery. I'm having the lumbar fusion September 2nd, 2015. And so less than a month. At first I was scared. I didn't want to do it. I wanted to just, like when I went to go see my doctor, I was like, can we just do another microdiscectomy? Because I've, I've Googled too much. I've WebMD'd too much. I've YouTubed the surgery and watched it. It's kind of scary. And I've watched all the recovery videos and different people have different outcomes. And most of it was negative. And I was just like, mm, mm. or like what, basically what I went through after my microdiscectomy. So, he was like, well, we could do that, but you've already failed once, like, the disc already failed again, like, so twice, technically, and he's like, I, I'd feel better if we just cleaned it all out and gave you a fusion. So I was like, well, 
if you're the doctor, you do this a billion gazillion times a year. So I was like, yeah, I guess. <laughs> I'm not excited to go through the whole recovery phase again because last time was bad. But I mean, I was okay and like up and walking and like functional was off all pain meds last time within 16 days because I had it January 11th 2012 my birthday is January 27th so by my end it was my 21st birthday and then your girl wanted to drink something <laughs> like so my goal was to be off all pain meds and to be like feeling good and I was I remember I I was fine like after two weeks I have like pictures and stuff like that from me yeah, I'm feeling fine so but that was a very small, small, small procedure. And I still had like two weeks of pain, like recovery from them slicing me open and doing all the stuff. So this time they're literally slicing me open and like shaving bone away and then taking the disc out, putting in like um, bone fragments so that way it'll fuse. And they're putting in the screws and then the rods. So like this is a very invasive surgery compared to what I had last time. Um, so I don't know what my recovery will be. I would hope it would be like two weeks again. Um, and I'm really, really, really sad because I'm only going to be able to walk after surgery for like about six months. And that's really, really depressing because I like to swim because that's an all over body workout, but there's twisting because you need eh, twist eh, twist and they don't want you to twist. So I can't swim and I, I really want to make a hundred percent sure the time because I want to swim like as soon as I can because um, I'm not a crazy swimmer I'm like a lazy whale in the ocean or a whale like I'm not like I almost said I'm not David Beckham in the pool oh god anyway I'm not that really good swimming Olympic swimmer dude that got like nine medals. I forget his name right now. I cannot. You mean Michael Phelps? Yeah, yeah, Lauren. Um, Michael Phelps. I'm not that dude. I'm not my sister. My sister's awesome swimmer. I'm not like that. I just, it's just for work. I literally, I don't even do the the breaststroke right. You're supposed to be like this and like do it fast like this. But I literally... how I swim <laughs> but I have class next week and then I don't have class and then I have finals <laughs> and then I then my surgery so then after that I have the week of surgery the week after surgery and the next week off yeah one two three one two three yeah and then the following Wednesday is when school starts again so the 23rd, I think it is. Yeah. So it's literally like 21 days after surgery that I have to be in school in class.